This conference will now be recorded. Hello, everyone. So in this session, we are going to discuss about Fairy Apps Library. So this would be the first topic anybody has to go through whoever wants to understand about Fiori security. OK, so let us go through the Fiori Apps Library. So Fiori Apps Library is a SAP website, official website, which provides complete information about the Fiori apps. Just you can type it on Google as Fiori Apps Library and you can open the page. And this is the page it looks like when you launch it. So this is the SAP official page where you have information of uh, every Fiori tile, different types of apps, what are the roles related to that, what are the OData services, everything. Okay, so we will go through some of the categories here. So on the left hand side, you can see all apps. And when I select it, it will show me all the apps inside it. There are around 11,971 apps here. And then if I go for all apps for SAP S4 HANA, these are the apps related to S4 HANA. According to the line of business you can find, according to industry, role-wise, best practices, different. So if I go to industries, you can pick up any particular industry so for example i'll take the small one where we have travel and transportation so in travel and transportation related you have these four apps related to the travel and transportation so in this way you can search all apps based on different categories and criteria. otherwise you can just go to all apps and then you can type the name of the Fury app, anything like purchase order. So you can type it as purchase order. So it will list down all the apps related to the purchase order. In this, you can choose the appropriate one, which one you are related to. Okay, that is one way. Okay, so that is a way of searching of an app. And coming to the different things you can see here, SAP Fiori apps for S4, all apps for S4 HANA, SAP Fiori apps for S4 HANA, SAP Fiori apps for SAP Business Suite. So what exactly is the difference between S4 HANA and Business Suite? So S4 HANA is like Fiori comes embedded in S4 HANA system. No need to install a separate system for Fiori. But whereas when it comes to business suite, so let us talk about you are using ECC version, EHP 7 or EHP 8, then you need to install a separate system. The Fury will be on a separate system installed in, on it. So there will be a, something called front end server and back end server. Back end server is considered to be your ECC, and front end server will be considered as a Fury system. So this is these are the different uh, categories of the apps available. So let us pick one app and we'll go through that. So what all you need to concentrate on those apps. So let me search based on purchase order again. So I'm searching for the purchase order. So let me pick up some easy one. So just a simple purchase word, purchase order number. So select that and you can click on that. So when you click on that particular app or tile, on the right hand side, you get the app details. So purchase order for purchaser and you can drop down and see it is available in two formats. One is S4 HANA if your system is S4 HANA or if you are using ECC. So you should go for business suite. If you are using S4 HANA, you should go, go for S4 HANA here. 
so the data will be slightly different for both of them so for s4 hana you can see the application type so this is a fact sheet okay um let us go for the transactional app first then i can come back to fact sheet so because fact sheet is not a good example to start with so let us go with uh, some approve purchase order yep so this approve purchase order this application type is transactional so there are different types of apps transactional fact sheets analytical so we will see that in the next session what is the difference between or what are the different types of apps available in fury so we don't have this approve purchase order in s4 hana it is available only for sap business suit because we don't have a drop down here so required backend end product is sap erp that is your normal ecc system line of business is sourcing and procurement supply chain application type is transactional database is any database so note it down here hana is not mandatory for fury hana is not mandatory there are some apps which are compatible with any database and every app is uh, identified by a unique id this is f0402 is the app id you can also search based on the app id also let me copy this i put it here i can search it with the number so this is what when i search with this number i get the name exactly the one is filtered out so if you are aware of this number you can filter like this and then coming to the other details of this these are the product features how it looks like the app documentation read in more for app documentation how the app looks like what are the fields inside it what are the key features categories you can go through the documentation about that and then solution capability about this tile details this is the look and feel of the tile inside when you click on that so successor apps so successor apps in the sense uh, before going to approve purchase order which app the user should have so user should have my inbox in my inbox he will he will be able to see approve purchase order so when he get, he, he gets as a request so when he gets to uh, to approve a purchase order as a request first he needs to go to my inbox and then he can see that particular approve purchase order and that's why it is called as a successor app and other apps related to this particular in mm area to this particular thing so from security perspective what is important for us from this app point of view what we need to take down is you can go to implementation information under implementation information you can check this so what all versions it is uh, available with important sap notes so if you face any problem in implementing this uh, uh, app uh, then you can go through the sap notes otherwise no need of uh, going through in the initial it phase itself installation like what is the the required hardware and software needed components needed for supporting this app and then this is where we are concerned with as a theory security security consultants the configuration the first one is talking about sap uifi application you got the name of it here so in your normal fury system or s4 system you can go to SICF transaction, which is for services activation, and search for this service. And that service should be activated. If this service is not activated, this particular app may not work properly. So it may throw some errors if the particular service is not activated. So that is the first thing you check when you have when you are facing any app problems, related problems. And the second thing is O data service. So this is the OData service actual ID. And this OData service should be assigned to user. So this OData service is coming with this role backend role. So this is the PFCG role. If you are using ABAP business suite, 
So this should be in your ECC. This role should be in your ECC. If it is S4 HANA, you will find definitely this role in S4 HANA or at the bottom you have something called as a business role so this business role will be definitely available in s4 hana system so if you don't have s4 hana system you will have two different roles the front end role and back end role so this is a back end role which contains that o data service so this role should be assigned to the user means that means this is this o data service is uh, we are assigning to the users so this is o data service related to the particular app now what exactly the word data service is uh, that is used for communication between the fury front end and the back end so between the app and the data so when you click on the app the data is fetched or the data is shown or you can update the data table something whatever the transaction you are going to do so that back end transaction is possible through this or data service and then the technical information technical configuration so this technical configuration this is technical catalog and then what is the pfcg role that means the technical catalog and these are all lpd cast role instance so these are all not related to us these are all related to the fury developers they can take care of it so we will see later what the difference between a catalog and what is what exactly is the catalog and what exactly is the group and then target mapping related so semantic object and semantic action and the business catalog so technical catalog is what sap is a actual technical coding and every above coding or the coding behind is there and what exactly the business catalog is uh, this is according to the business it has been designed so the grouping of the tiles is based on the catalogs business catalogs and then the business group again the grouping of the tiles based on what tile should be visible to the user is decided by the business group so we will understand the difference between catalog and groups later later sessions so this is the responsible business catalog responsible business group so in order to access this tile user should have this catalog and this group coming assigned to the user in the front end system that is your fury system or s4 hana system so you should look for this catalog and this group in your role name if this group and role name is not there then this particular app cannot be seen by the user right so if you go through in this fashion whenever you have an issue with your app uh, your app is not visible or you are facing some problem with the app when you click on it so this is the way you have to check it first check for the service SICF in decode whether this service has been activated or check for this O data service role is assigned to the user and then check for this business catalog and business group is assigned to the user so if all these are assigned to user then there should not be any issue there with the app the tile should be visible to the user right so this is from security point of view you need to understand about the fury apps library so anybody can access this site you can go and browse it through this fury apps library and you can understand about the fury app details or tile details thank you i will meet you in the next session thanks all of you